Right, lots of people have asked me, uh, what do I have in my tool belt? Is it just a prop? No, this is a real tool belt. I bring it on my jobs on site. And today we're going to talk more about it, uh, what it is and what's inside my tool belt. So stay tuned. Well, so this is my setup. It's a mole belt, uh, which I got online. And it, they, they sell these pouches indivi individually and the belt as well. So what I started off with was a bare belt. And I started adding on compartments as I went along and customized the belt to suit my needs. Now I could get one off, uh, off, the, off the shelf, but I don't think that I, could, I would have one that, you know, is, uh, that suits my needs exactly. So uh, I'm going to empty out the pockets right now and we'll take a look at what's inside. So before I begin, uh, my concept is uh, footprint. Okay, I like things small and multi-purpose. So for instance, right here, I have my cordless drill. It serves as a screwdriver, a regular drill, and a hammer drill. So I can do light masonry work with this, as well as using the, the clutch function to screw in screws. It's also a double speed, so I could change the speed as I require. Next off is a 3 meter uh, or 12 foot measuring tape. You know, um, unlikely you're going to be doing 7 meter, 8 meter works. So something small is, uh, is just enough. Alright, in the next pouch, I have my cutters and my pliers. Uh, okay, guys, check this out. This is by Inco. Alright, and this has an automatic blade change. So, your spare blades are kept in the handle itself and it saves space. It can change blades once your, your blade gets dull. Alright, in this pouch, the horizontal one, I keep my small bits and pieces. I have my bits which fit my cordless screwdriver. I've got socket bits here. I've got hex bits and drill bits. And I've got measuring tools like rulers, a small vernier caliper, and a laser distance measuring tool. And finally, in the vertical pouch, this is where I keep all my long tools. So I've got my adjustable spanner, got my test pen. This over here is a voltage detector. It's a contactless test pen. Got my cable ties and a hammer. And of course, can of WD-40. Okay, this is my primary tool. I use this all the time. It's a 10.8 volt Makita driver drill and it comes with hammer function as well. So in line with the whole concept of uh, footprint, this is the smallest hammer driver drill that you can find. And I understand there are 18 volts and larger and those are more powerful but as a home DIY um, guy you know you don't don't need something so big and the bigger it gets the heavier your tool belt is going to get so you want to put as many tools as you can on the tool belt so you get something so big you're losing on, on footprint together with the uh, driver bit okay I have uh, different drill bits these are all 5 mm we have the normal drill bit the high speed steel and this is for metal plastics and woods. We have a masonry bit here. This is more for concrete and stone. And we have this arrowhead bit. This is a tile bit for glass and tile. So each bit serves its purpose. You wouldn't be able to penetrate concrete or glass with this bit. And if you're going to use this for a metal, you're going to ruin the tip. But it cuts through uh, ceramics like butter. You also want to have a flathead screwdriver bit, just in case you come across any of that. And I don't carry Allen keys. I carry hex bits, and these act as Allen keys. And I don't carry a full socket set. I carry uh, socket bits. So all these would serve the purpose of uh, bigger tools, and all this would fit on the belt. And next off, of course, I've got gardening shears. Uh, this serves more than cutting plants. I use this to cut wires, I use it to cut trunking, and all sorts. Cardboard. I've got my uh, box cutter. I've got locking pliers here. And, of course, uh, needle nose pliers. These locking pliers are great because it, it leaves one hand, uh, one hand free. For instance, if you've got a piece of wood that you want to hold together, Okay, you can just clamp it and it will, it will hold. So if you've got something that you want to clamp together, this would act as a clamp, a small clamp as well. I've got screwdrivers, so I've got a Phillips and I've got a test pen, which I use as my flathead 
from time to time. And I also have this. This is a contactless test pen. Uh, it's a voltage detector. So you don't have to actually touch the live wire for it to tell you there's current flowing through it. You just need to bring it near the, uh, the circuit and it will tell you whether the circuit is live or not. Got a small, um, small screwdriver for electrical devices. And as well, I have this. This is important because if your main screwdriver were to run out of power, just grab the bit, put it on, and you can complete the job if necessary. Also, I've got a medium-sized adjustable spanner and a small hammer. You could of course, you could of course get away with getting something like this, but as I mentioned, it takes up a lot of space. This is a regular hammer. This is what you would normally find in a toolbox. But this is a tiny one. Look how it fits in my hand. I know I have big hands, but yeah, that fits nicely in the in my pouch. All right, in my last pouch, I keep the zip ties. These are good for holding rope, holding wires together, tying things up, uh, adding handles to your tools. Yeah, I also have a roll of uh, black tape, uh, insulating tape. I, this is not just for insulating wires. I use these to uh, bundle uh, wires together, rope, um, you know, to mark out screw holes, uh, to mark out where I need to cut. And I don't recommend it, but I use this as an emergency uh, plaster. You know, if you don't have, uh, if you cut yourself, I I tie a bit of tape around my my the, the cut and until I can get a, a first aid kit. Also, if it doesn't move. WD-40. That's not only good for lubrication, you can use it to clean parts. And this is pretty important. Sandpaper on a piece of wood. You know, uh, if you need to take off rough edges and burrs from your projects real quick, something like this would help and I carry it with me all the time. So in a nutshell, these are the things that I have on my tool belt and they all fit. Now, if you don't believe me, here, let me prove it to you. All right. Well, that's my, my belt and what I have in it. These are not all my tools. I do have my big toolbox right here and that's for another episode. I've got, you know, my channel wrenches, my island keys, my mallet and all the bigger tools that are needed for other jobs. But what I have on my tool belt gets about 80% of the work done. So thank you very much for watching. Do share videos and pictures of your own tool belts in the comment section below. Leave a, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.